on a recent trip up to Karang Asim at the, at the base of the giant volcano, Mount Agung, we met a young man who had a horrible accident back in 2017, fell out of a coconut tree where he was harvesting coconuts and he's ended up paralyzed from the waist down. So um, the family has, had asked us if there's any chance that we could get some crutches and or a wheelchair or a commode or something to make this guy's life a little bit better. Now, look guys, I gotta say, I was incredibly humbled by the, by the response that we had, including some of the people in our own team that were there that day that said, we're gonna do something to help this boy. And already we've been pledged um, or given a few donations to help make this boy's life a little bit easier. Now, long term, I'd love to get a motorized wheelchair so he can actually get around because it's rough, rough ground where he's going. But luckily, not far from where I live, in the middle of Denpasar, there's this place called Sunny Data. Sa San I don't know, Sunny Data. And, and it's a um, mobility aids and medical, medical equipment place. And they've got so many options for wheelchairs, push chairs, and commodes, you name it. So we're going through looking at what the options are, what we've got. We need something that can stand up being used in the shower so he can clean himself. We want something that will handle the the rough terrain that he lives in because it's there's no footpaths, there's no pavement. He's actually on a dirt building platform, I guess. Um, and there's so many things here to look at. These are nice, cool little ones, small little electronic jobs. I honestly don't even know if he's got electricity up there and if that'd be any good, but long term, that'd be definitely what I'd be, what I prefer to, to try and get for him. But in the, immediately, I need to get something that we can take up to him next weekend that will get him started and keep him keep him safe. So that's our mission today is checking out wheelchairs and looking at other mobility aids, including commodes, braces, crutches, and, and things that might make this young fella's life a little bit better. So these ladies have been wonderful for us. And look at the selection here, it's crazy. Lots of different chairs, different types, shower chairs, We've got the all running for cover. We've got some some uh, commodes and stuff as well, so he can go to the bathroom. And um, look, I tell you what, before we get up the mountain, we're going to have this sorted. So we've got something to make this guy's life just a little bit more bearable. Can't thank you enough for helping and for backing it up. And stay tuned because we're going to be delivering this stuff and seeing what else we need to do. Does he need handrails to get in and out of the, the bath or the toilet area? Can he get up into his own wheelchair? Does he need a crane or a lift of some sort or just some some uh, handrails, we're not sure, but we're gonna work on this and this is the power of the internet and the power of what we're doing over here in Bali. It's just incredible for people to be supporting us and come out with uh, some solutions for these poor kids and these poor people that don't have the advantage of the disability support that we get over in uh, Australia, New Zealand and in many other places in the Western world. So it's a good day. Look, these guys have just got almost everything you could possibly want. Um, and and the first thing is to work out what we've got that suits our budget, what we've got that suits our purpose, and um, and how we can best put that together to uh, help this guy's life. Hey, <laughs> camera, follow me. I can't hold this up, all day. Oh. Fifty kilos of sugar. Another. <laughs> Check this out. She's already learned. <laughs> to carry stuff on hand. I try to not using my hand. <laughs> okay guys, the big announcement that you've been waiting for and honestly it's taken a while to come because logistics and, and details but Bali Donate organisation is now a registered charity. Now it's a big step but what it means is we can get corporate support from around the world, we can, all of our donations are now tax deductible. Come and check this out, we've even got our own minivan. It's a little seven seater and it was donated by two families in Australia to help us out to not only get the supplies that we can take up to the mountains, but also to allow us to take people and supporters and helpers up to the villages so that we can, we can help a lot more people than what we've had been doing. In the past, it's been a few meals on the beach. It's been a few, hand delivered a little nussy jingos or, or in some cases 
half a tons worth of rice, noodles, oil, sugar, you name it. This last week has been crazy. And wheelchair. <laughs> wheelchair. Oh, hey, yeah, so we've got wheelchairs, we've got commodes, we've got two beds in, the, in there that we're taking up on this weekend. So we're gonna need another car because we're not gonna be able to fit all the food and, and the wheelchairs and everything else in. Everything's off to a huge start. Um, we've even got we've even got Bali donate t-shirts and singlets and if you leave, read the label <laughs> what we're doing Muzzwear is designed by fee it's the best quality shirts you can get good quality printing and a proceed a portion of those proceeds go straight to helping us with Bali donate oh look it's been a huge it's been a huge thing but we've got a room out the back here full of donated t-shirts and blankets and pillows please keep them coming because we've just done 50 deliveries and we've got another another 50 to do in two days time what are you doing my swear made from 100 recycle your boss and bin tang <laughs> um, so if you're coming to bali i ask you a couple of things please pack a spare pillow blanket sheet whatever you've got bit of, bit of old linen it doesn't have to be brand spanking new if you've got some old sheets that, that you don't use that much anymore please no ripped and torn and, and dirty stuff but if you could just bring a little bit of linen along a cheap pillow or two whatever you can fit in your suitcase fill your luggage allowance with stuff that you're not using t-shirts shorts skirts anything that the people up in the villages could use and most of them are smaller sizes i've got to say but check this out we got. We managed to pick up a couple of um, a couple of beds, and they're like a, uh, they call them a travel bed, but for around here in this climate, it's just a really good way of helping us to transport them. And they cost forty five, roughly forty five Australian dollars each. So some of these people who don't even have a bed in their house, we can actually help to make it possible. You'd fit two people on if if you needed to. And here's our wheelchair for a young fella. It's got good plastic wheels. We noticed he did have an old rickety one that was that rusty from, it's a shower chair, it's a toilet chair, and it's a, a moving around chair. So we've got one that's a little bit more multi-purpose. So all, all we're gonna do now is we've gotta get all of that, not the dog, <laughs> the dog's helping, but we've gotta make up 50 of these packs. And in it, we put in oil, sugar, noodles, tea, coffee, cleaning, uh, dishwashing liquid, Shampoo, toothpaste, sunlight, liquid, and I, I gotta say, very, very few of the houses that we visit have anything to clean the dishes or the pots. It's, it's quite tragic, and I guess when you can't afford to eat food, the last thing you can afford is to, you know, some sanitary cleaning products. So we're trying to make a little difference in these people's lives and trying to help them in a way that gives them a chance to uh, to regain, regain a little bit of control. But we've got the, the production line going now, and we've only got to do this four or five times till we've got 50 bags. They go on the back of the car, first thing Saturday morning, and we're heading back up the mountain. Honey, right. Honey. stop talking and keep packing. <laughs> I've been told, I've been doing what I'm told for Honey. once. <laughs> Did you want a beer? Guys, it's huge, it's amazing, and I'm just so proud of everything that you've helped me to achieve this guy standing behind the camera <laughs> can i show you something <laughs> well, he's not going to go on camera <laughs> the guy that says he's not going to go on camera look there's a lot of people over here that live here or that are coming out for holidays that must what can we do I, I said to this guy last week can you help me just do a little bit of coordination stuff next minute he's in the car driving up to up the hills and and trudging up the side of mountains and he's, he's hooked so he wants to help us pack these bags today so so at least we know what we're doing, where we're going, what, what we're up to. If you're coming over, we're, we're looking at the first and third Saturday of every month is when we're going to be going up to the villages or donating food and emergency supplies to, to the poorer areas. On alternate weeks, we're looking probably, I'm not sure what day yet, but on, on the second and fourth a week of the month we're going to be going up to the school and taking uh, people up there so it sort of gives you a little bit of a timetable if you're coming over you want to go and visit the school that we sponsor there's other projects that are coming up as well but that's the one that we're heavily involved with at the moment 
that's going to happen on alternate weeks to the weeks we're up in the village. It takes a bit of coordination, it takes a fair bit of time, and it takes a lot of energy. You asked the guys that were up with us last week, I tell you, we were all absolutely wiped out for the following day because it was a big day. But not only emotionally uh, uh, stressful, but incredibly rewarding and lifting. So I tell you what, it's a hot afternoon, I'm sweating, and that just means time for a beer. Thanks for your, <laughs> thanks for your support. Thanks for your help, your aroha, your love, and and your, your your best wishes. We're going to keep doing this as long as you guys back us up. So all the details to follow. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I can announce Bali Donate Organisation is up and running. It's a registered Yayasan, which means it's a registered charitable foundation. And couldn't have done it without you guys. Couldn't have done it without some support from a couple of specific families who donated a family in New Zealand, another family in Australia, turned around and said, what can we do? How can we help make your dream a reality? Well, my dream's just become a massive reality. So thank you so much, guys. And for all the rest of them who've come up and helped us in the past or are going to come up in the next few years, I, look, thank you so, so much. Let's get into it. See ya.